All right, it is a beautiful morning here in Mexico for day two of our beautiful Mexican vacation. Gosh, day one. I guess it is our first full day, <laughs> starting out as we will most days with buffet style breakfast. We're gonna eat a ton and then just be ruined for the rest of the day. You're invited to come along with us. Jesse, your thoughts? I want alcohol. Mm. I'm not a drinker, but if they present me with something, I guess I'll have to take it. Glove up. Got that bad boy on there. Maybe you don't get a bit of it, got Juices and such a mug things here. Bread and pastries. Breakfast right here is all she's gonna eat is this meat right here. Some cheeses, assorted fruits. All right, now we're getting into the stuff I'm looking for. Ooh, what do we have here? Some sandwiches. Those. Omelet station is probably where I'm headed. All right, so I went with the build your own omelet side of hash browns. Jessica has her traditional meat and potatoes plate breakfast. It's like an orange juice. Is that orange juice? Sure. Cool. This must be like a complimentary something that they bring you and tell you to put in your coffee. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna give it a shot. I think it's creamer. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, look at all that goodness that's in there. Ooh-wee. You did good, Uncle Mad. Good choices. If I can actually get this on my fork, that is. Okay, here we go. Finally, nope, maybe. There it is. What'd you get in there? Mushrooms, tomatoes, bacon, cheese. It's in your face. Need some turkey, maybe. It's good. Great way to start the day. Thank you for the sausage, babe. I've reached the phenomenon known as cheese mask. I got a cheesy mask. I'll save that for later when I have to put my mask back on. That'll be a nice snack treat for me. Oh. <laughs> All right, I guess one of the good things about being on the third floor is definitely get the opportunity to walk off breakfast. Good breakfast. Inevitably, obviously, I ate too much. I'm always going to do that if it's a buffet set up like that. But next up, beach day today. Gonna go to the beach. Make a quick costume change into beach apparel. We are at the adults only luxury part of the resort. It's called Cien Khan, is the name of the resort hotel part of the thing that we're in. It's across the street from like the main resort area, kind of a little more secluded, a little more private over here in the jungle. Gotta grab a cart like we did last night to go over to the beach. But yeah, that's what the plan is. I think I'm not with Jester right now. She's checking in with our guy, Roberto, the privilege club liaison, getting some things set up. I've been left to my own devices. I'm inevitably going to break something or do something wrong. We'll see what happens. Who's going to don't tell, don't tell Jess if I could break something. Oh, here we go. All right. Now Jessica's going to get everybody a tutorial on applying sunblock. To make sure you don't get a single bit of tan for the entire week. No, that's why I get the low SPF, so I can get some tan. Good morning. Beach vibes. Don't think I mentioned this yet in today's vlog, but it's Victory Monday here in Mexico. Titans whooped up on the mighty Rams. 
time to give the team their flowers. I said it on Twitter. I have filed a formal request that the Titans be given their flowers at this time. I look forward to hearing back from the NFL community on that request. Hmm. Victory Monday on the beach just slaps different. I think that's what the kids say. All right, so while most people come to the beach to lay out in the sun and get a tan, we are consistently, strategically moving our chairs to be in the most shaded spot possible. As you can see, should be a chair either side of the thing. We have just slowly, as the day has gone, moved, 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 moved to here. Also, one thing that's good to note about this resort is they'll fill up your own personal cup with the beverage of your choice. I'm not a drinker, so I've been drinking ice cold waters all day in this here Yeti. But if you wanted a margarita or uh, I think Jesta got a vodka and Sprite and with a little bit of pineapple juice, they'll throw it in your big old Yeti for you. You don't have to get like the tiny little baby cups. Ice cold water for me though. Beach day. All right, so I did attempt to do a live stream from the beach to celebrate, break down the Titans demolishing, go Titans, of the LA Rams. I can only assume that the media elite in Los Angeles conspired to shut that stream down because they don't want it to be known how badly the Rams got demolished by the lowly small market Tennessee Titans. My buddy Kyle is gonna join me because he's just at a firehouse doing nothing all day until like fires break out, despite what he would claim to the difference. It's rescue me, watch the show, that's all they do. They have affairs. And then once in a while they fight fires. But thank you for your service. So we were on the beach side. We are popping into the Akamel buffet restaurant for some lunch. Get my glove. See what we got. All right, so we got some cheeses, meats, little sandwich, or kind of charcuterie station, some sushi. I'm gonna be honest, I never quite trace, trust the sushi here. It just, I don't know, seems a little weird to me, but it does look good though. But I always feel a little, little weird about it. A little bit of Asian style stuff, some fried rice, some beef chop sushi noodles, lo mein, a little bit of tempura, all kinds of stuff here. I mean, you can really get anything you want at these buffets. Just is going with some potatoes here. Stop what else, what else is she gonna get? Is she gonna go for that little, uh, what is this, is some pork? Is that pork? Is that poke? It's not poke. Is that poke? Is that poke? some poke? It's not poke. Is that poke? No, leave Looks like alone. poke. All right. All right, so I would contend that lunch is maybe the hardest meal to eat of the day because they have the most hodgepodge, just kind of everything going on at lunch. So as you can see from my plate, I literally could not decide. I've got pizza, chicken. There's a steak thing here. I think this might also be steak. I think this is a chicken tender I stole from the kids buffet. That's a tempura thing. I got some green vegetables just to make it feel like I was not gonna eat just all terrible things. And then two different kinds of potatoes. Jess has got some pizza over here. It looks like a little shrimp. Uh, what is that? The, what do you call that? The, to put, what do you call that? The noodle thing you got over there. Noodle thing? This over here. It's kind of like a paella, but it doesn't have rice. It has uh, And what's this? Yeah. It's a tostada. Ah, oh, tostada. Good choice. Everything looks good. And they did bring us out, I think this is beer. I'm not sure. Uh, this was just here when we came back to the table, so I guess it's customary Mexican tradition to serve this with your lunch. So, not a drinker, but I will drink it to be appropriately on par and not offend anybody by not partaking in their customs. Thank you. All right, we're in the privilege lounge at CN Con, which is essentially Gabe's desk from the office. But we are getting all the fancy things because we're the riches here, so. They are renovating this room in here. We have suggested they should make that the full-blown privilege lounge over there. So there's only two lounges in the whole resort. But this is one of the nicer, like this is one of the, probably the nicest place. Hi! Hola. All right, we're back in the room. For a nice morning lounging on the beach, a little bit of lunch at the Aquamel Buffet. You have to hold the handle down until it flushes. Like, you have to hold it. You can't just press it. Our toilet doesn't work. 
We're gonna go down to the pool, hang out in the pool for a little while. Jesta has made us some very, very special dinner accommodations tonight, which I can't wait to share with you here on this channel. What I say about filming me from below? Always do it and then give you a big kiss on the mouth. No. All right, we're going to the pool. All right, after beach day, it's time for some pool vibes. Pool's a little chilly. It's refreshing nonetheless. That's just right there. I don't know if she knows she's on camera or not. <sighs> this pool is the bomb. It's a great spot. Nice little uh, bar buffet area here. This is open all day, so anytime you're just like hungry, you wanna grab a snack or something, it goes all day long. It's not like some of the other buffets that shut down between lunch and dinner and breakfast. It's just rock and rolling all day. They got burgers. Oh, that's my song. That's my jam. They play that all the time here. It's like a theme song for Baja Prince Bay. It is the jam. This is kind of the quieter side of the pool, though, like over there. That's kind of the party pool. They usually have like volleyball or other activities or stuff going on over there. So if you don't want to just chill, relax, this is where you go. Over there, if you want to party it up, that's where it's going. Last time we were here, our room was like, hold on, I'm just going to find it like somewhere like right above the party pool. So like if they had like stuff going on late at night, we heard the party pool going on all night long. And it was going. Let's just put it that way. Came to fill up the jacuzzi and it is going slowly. And the water is also not hot, so. But the views are great. <laughs> All right, first test run on the jacuzzi. It took forever to fill up and a bunch of gunk kind of came out of the jet, so. It's a nice tested. test to see how it works. What we're gonna do is we're gonna drain it out, hope the gunk goes away, refill it, and then kind of let it sit tomorrow. That way it can like absorb some heat, maybe be not a little warmer when we want to get in tomorrow afternoon, maybe. Not a good first run out on the uh, rooftop jacuzzi, but I mean, the views. That guy's over there working out. All right, tonight's dinner is at Fruity Del Mar. The Floridian restaurant, I believe. It's... What? Is that right? No, it's seafood. Oh, it says fruit. That means fruit of the sea. It's like Fish. grapes. It's like grapes and apples. All right, so we got the fancy beach table. It's with the riches. The boys are in there lying about having reservations. Hate to see it. What are we getting? Um, either gonna get the coconut shrimp or the oysters Rockefeller. And then we have um, the tomahawk steak and lobster. Must suck to be a poor. Wanted to document that our special beach table, I don't know if you can see it that well, is inside of a sand made heart. Because she's the heart of my life. Stop. Oh, I'm gonna fall. All right, here is a look ski over what the options are on the menu tonight. I believe I'm gonna double up on appetizers and go with the oysters and the scallops. Jessica said she's gonna put an octopus in her mouth. All right. Oh, what'd you say you were gonna get? I'm gonna get the oysters. You said the shrimp, I thought. Well, I was going to do the shrimp or the coconut shrimp or the oysters, and then I was going to get both, and then I was like, well, we're getting the giant lobster and the tomahawk, so I'm just going to get the oysters. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm going to get the oysters and the scallops. And for entrees, we skip those because we're getting some special things. And I'm just going to get an ice cream sandwich. Oh, thank you. 
All right, as you know, I am not a drinker, but this fancy blue drink was brought to our table, so I will drink it as is a custom. As I was about to drink this blue beverageino, some random aperitivos were brought to the table. What a night, what an experience. This place is incredible. Can't beat this. Bottoms up. Mmm. Had a very blue flavor to it. Crispy. It's like a potato chip. All right, what you got there? What are you about to bite into? Stop. Get a biggie out of it. Oh, money shot right there. What was it? Oysters Rockefeller. Yeah. Thank you. It? Really good. Try yours. This is how's. She said this is scallops, but this is, I've never seen a scallop that looks like this. So. Well, that's a scallop shell, but. Mmm. Mmm. It's good. Get your little fork. Mm. Yeah, pretty good. Mm, really good. It's just like crumblies. Okay. All right, so. It was beautiful seeing it outside, but it was breezy and cold, so we have graciously been moved inside for the main course of our meal, which is going to be delicious. And I can't wait for it. It is a little bit chilly in here as well, so. so. <laughs> Better than outside, though, because at least here it's like a steady chill, not a, like a breezy chill, right? So pretty. I don't know how food works, but I think this stuff might be coming our way, because I believe we do have some lobster. Oh, look at that. That tomahawk back there. We ordered tomahawk. That might be ours right there. Holy shnikes. Oh my god, it's almost like there's about to be something really special happening at our table because we got a fancy side table! Jess just did two tequila shots, she's drunk. Matthew. All these beers are hers. No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, we're sharing all of it. <laughs> how do you prefer your, your how do you prefer your? Uh, medium rare. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that looks incredible. Yep. Perfect. Gravy stuff. Gravy. Reduction of wine. Ooh. Special for the meat. <laughs> Is it not cutting? Mm -hmm. Oh, there it goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ladies first, right? Yes, ladies first. Oh, beautiful. That's good for me right now. Mm. It's enough for a little bit more. Oh, I, yeah, that's good, that's good. Are you good for your phone? 
Oh God, what a meal. This was devastating, I'm so stuffed. Happy anniversary. <laughs> I'm taking this with me. To the room. Okay, first full day here in Mexico has come to a close. Not quite to the point of being able to go out and check out the shows. On this Jersey Boy show that's going on right now. Sounds pretty fire. Because... They don't cry. You are ridiculous right now. They don't cry. You'll see some of that as the week goes along because eventually we'll catch up and we'll get back to where we go to those type of things. But for now, good day. We had fun. A way too much, of course. But Tomahawk was fire. But the best part of this is Nice, comfy bed to sleep in. Good night. Good luck.